What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be kind of different. Let me explain. So basically, I've recently been seeing a bunch of these 24-hour pregnant challenge videos all over YouTube, which I'm not gonna lie, have kind of intrigued me. It's basically a challenge where you wear a fake pregnancy belly for 24 hours and basically live your day as a pregnant woman. Now, if you guys know me, I honestly don't have a single motherly bone in my body just yet. I'm only 22. And honestly, I don't plan on having kids anytime soon, so I thought I would be the perfect person to do this challenge. I don't know, there's just something about pregnancy and like pushing out a real life human out of me that's just kind of terrifying to me, not gonna lie. So I thought that this would be a very fun challenge for me to do since I am not ready for the real thing anytime soon. A quick disclaimer before we jump straight into the video. Basically, I have seen some comments on videos like this and there's quite a few people that can get offended by this type of video, which I realize it is a sensitive topic. So I just wanna clarify, I'm not doing this to mock pregnancy or to kind of offend anyone in any shape or form. If you feel like the nature of this video might be upsetting to you, then you can always click off. Also realize that I have no idea what pregnancy is actually going to feel like until the day that I go through it one day. So I just want to put that out there. I know that carrying around a fake pregnancy belly is nothing like the real thing, but at least it kind of gives me a feel for what it might feel like. At the end of the day, we are all here because of a woman, a mother, so I feel like this video shouldn't be offensive to anyone, and I really hope that this video might actually be quite eye-opening to myself and also you guys. So yeah, this is just a little bit of fun and entertainment for you guys who also might wonder what it's like to be pregnant one day, kind of. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that huge thumbs up just down below and also don't forget to subscribe, come and join the dinosaur family. But without further ado, let's get on into the video. Okay, so this is the belly. I've had a brief look at it. Oh my God, this feels so weird. Oh my God. It's even got a belly button. Ew, that's so gross. I kind of have a thing with belly buttons where I really don't like people touching my belly button. I don't know, am I weird? If you guys are like that as well, let me know in the comments so I know I'm not alone. Anyways, this is the belly and let me just say, it looks a bit wrinkly, like, does it not? Like, I don't know if you guys can even see that, but it just looks so strange. I've got to say, this little thing right here was kind of pricey. I think I paid like 60 pounds for this on eBay. So let's hope it does the job for this video. Okay, let's try and get this thing on. I am so nervous about this because basically this belly that I bought is not like anyone else's that I've seen in videos. This one has like a weird sticky back. So you peel this thing off and then this silicone is like really sticky. So I am not excited for this to be on my belly for 24 hours, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, this is gonna be uncomfortable. I can already tell. Okay, the belly is on, you guys. Look at this. I don't really know if this looks as pregnant as I thought it would. To be honest, this just looks like me bloated every day. This is an exact representation of that. I feel like this belly doesn't look that legit when it's bare, because my skin tone doesn't really match, but the belly button looks super realistic, I think. It doesn't feel too uncomfortable, apart from the Velcro thing at the back, which is really digging into my side and my back, so that's gonna be fun. I definitely feel like this will look a lot better when it's underneath clothes and who knows, I might even be able to make it look like it's legit. So I guess it's time to put some clothes on as I am in my pajamas, so let's try and pick something out. So we're kind of going through a weird patch in the weather right now. It's been really, really warm for the past two weeks, but it's now like kind of cold, kind of windy, so I don't really know what to wear anymore. Okay, what if I just wore like a plain, plain t-shirt? It's kind of oversized. Hoping it's gonna fit. Okay, so I'm gonna go for something casual, just a pair of high-waisted jeans with an oversized t-shirt. I feel like, hopefully, I'm gonna fit in these jeans. They're my favorite, and I never wear non-high-waisted jeans, so let's see how this will go. T-shirt's going on. You can't actually tell I'm pregnant. Okay, maybe you can a little bit if I do that, but not really. So, uh, I don't actually think this is going to work. I'm probably not gonna go for the jeans. I might just have to go for a stretchy dress because that's pretty much all I own that's not really tight fitting and will actually get over this belly. Okay, so I think this is the winner. I feel like this dress really does the bump justice. It actually looks a lot bigger than I thought it would. So I'm kind of worried about going out with this bump in public because people are actually gonna think I'm pregnant. But anyways, I think it's time to get Matt's reaction because I mean, he is the father of this silicone lump that I've got on, so he deserves to see it now. Okay, let's go down and get Matt's reaction. <laughs> Hello? Mm, yeah, <laughs> all right. Yeah, how you doing? <laughs> I'm all right. What do you think? 
So there, you've changed a bit in the last 20 minutes, haven't you? <laughs> Feel it? Uh, no. It actually feels real, doesn't it, when you touch it? Oh, no, I'm not going out with you right now. Why? I'm not. People are actually going to think we're pregnant. It does look real, doesn't it? Oh, God. <laughs> Wait, it's even got a belly button. Oh, like, so can you see it? I look. Thought, yeah. I thought it was going to be bigger, actually, though, so I'm happy. Yeah, but I it's mean... it's not that big. I thought it was going to be really big. Well, there was twins, but it was, like, really expensive to get the twins. So I got, like, I don't know how, what time... time is it trimester? I don't know what the word is. What's the word for, like, when you're pregnant? I don't know what Trimester. You're is it trimester, not trimester? I don't know. But this was meant to be, like, five months, I think? Five, five months pregnant. Five months. Oh, okay. So it's quite big, but it's not that big. It's still really weird. I don't really... <laughs> <laughs> it's wait, I haven't even sat in it yet. It's so weird. <laughs> to be honest, it's gonna be pretty embarrassing going out like this. Not because like it's embarrassing to be pregnant or anything, but it's because like we're actually not pregnant, so that's why it's really weird. Sky, what do you think about me being pregnant? She doesn't <laughs> She doesn't look very faced, does she? <laughs> <laughs> What's in here? Is it a little bubba? Is it your sister? Well, she's been a mum before. Oh, girly. She's the only kid I ever need. Yeah. <laughs> We're never having yeah, kids. Yeah, I always say, like, I don't need a kid. I've got her. Like, she has everything we need. I know. She's so cute. <laughs> She's so cute. She always likes having a little cameo in our vlogs. If you guys didn't know, we do actually have a vlog channel, which we have a little announcement on very soon. Go check it out. <laughs> so yes, we are now gonna go and basically go to Milton Keynes to have a little look around shops and stuff. We're because, no, you're coming with me, you're the dad, so. I'm not. Well, yeah, I can't, no, I'm not gonna be a single mum if you're around. You'll have to be a single mum. No, so, I've got, yeah. you're the daddy, so it's fine. So we're gonna go and look at prams, because I feel like, I'm only 22, so I've never really looked at like the baby's world. Like there's a whole realm of like motherhood, and I've never really like looked into that. So I know there's like prams, and there's like choices you've got to make. Like when it comes to prams yeah. and clothes. And Sometimes I look at clothes and I'm like, oh yeah, that's cute. I'd like, I want my kid to wear that yeah. if I had a kid. Yeah. Well, I feel like we can do that today just for one day and it'll kind of prepare us for the future. What do you think? I don't know. Like maybe we should just look at like cat clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I think she would like that a lot, wouldn't you? So off we go. Well, I guess the rules have changed. It's like when we first started dating, I've got to open the door for you. Oh, yeah. That. Yeah, that's... I'm liking that. Come on, scoot around then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you need, do you need any help getting in? Well, to be yeah, honest... let me take that for you. There thank you go. very much. Oh, no, you oh, can't have any well. That's not good for you. So. Do you know what? That's actually right. Oh, you got in just fine then. Oh, I got in just fine. Didn't need, did, you didn't need Give me my coat back. <laughs> actually, no, you should have had one. No! No! <laughs> Who's that? No! <laughs> Ever since I saw those baby Recaro seats, you know like Recaro is a racing band that make racing seats? Yeah. Well they do one for kids. Really? It's like a really cool I've actually always wanted it, even though I don't have a kid. <laughs> one day then. Okay, so I feel like before we go to the shops and kind of look at like the gender related stuff, we need to think about whether it's gonna be a girl or a boy. <laughs> yeah, well like, I've always wanted a boy. So I'd really? love to like, you know. Well, obviously, I would want a girl, but like... I don't know, but then again, like, it's not like you can decide, so... No. You said we should flip a coin on it. We should flip a coin, yeah. Would be the here. sensible thing to do. Okay, so do you want to be boy for heads? Yeah, or... boy for heads, because heads okay. always comes up. Okay. Hey! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just dropped it. It's heads! Woohoo! It's actually heads! <laughs> I guess we're, we're gonna have a boy then. Okay, so we have made it to Milton Keynes and we are now at Ikea because basically we just wanted to come to Ikea to have a little browse and mooch around but also because they do the best veggie hot dogs ever. Now, I'm aware that my diet probably wouldn't be, well, isn't the greatest today. I've started off my, my day with a Coke, right? <laughs> yeah, right. But, like, hot dog, because it's a veggie hot dog, I feel like it's not too bad. It's not bad, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, and if I was pregnant, I could still have that because I've had a little read on the internet what I shouldn't be eating if I was actually pregnant, and it's just things like dairy, raw yeah. meat, things Whereas, like that. Uh, if that was pork, that would actually be bad for you and have cholesterol and everything. Yeah, exactly. Um, can I get... Two. Oh, I can get four veggie hot dogs. I'm eating for two today. Right. Thanks, my darling. Thanks a lot. Need a bag of just some awesome. Yeah, thank you. If you guys have never tried these veggie IKEA hot dogs, you honestly are missing out because they are so good. So 
I'm just gonna tuck into this. Okay, so we are now done at Ikea and we actually did make a tiny little purchase. I just wanted this for my room. Um, but basically, I just wanna quickly talk about like my experience with like walking around with this. Um, and that's basically that I think that people kind of like treat you a little bit differently when they know that you're pregnant because obviously no one would know that this is just fake so I feel like everyone's like a lot nicer they like let you go in front in the queue and stuff like that because they're probably just thinking wow this woman must be in a lot of pain a lot of the time so I'm just gonna be nice to her but we're now gonna head off to mother care and just have a look at like prams and stuff like that I'm actually kind of excited because I've never done this like I said so it's gonna be quite interesting you're gonna be all right getting out then I might actually need your help I mean it's a lot harder getting out than getting in especially because I'm wearing a dress <laughs> There you oh, go. Oh, and my back really hurts. I know I shouldn't be complaining because I'm not actually pregnant, but this is actually really heavy, like for anyone. Is it? Like, yeah, it's actually like, there's, oh, yeah. there's a lot of wow. weight to it. And the strap is proper digging into my back, so it's not comfortable. I wouldn't want to be carrying that. No. <laughs> Anyways, let's go mother care. Whoop, whoop. It's literally so quiet in the store. I feel really uncomfortable vlogging. Matt really wanted to have a look at the car seats. Where's the Recaro one then? I don't know. What's this? There's a lot of choice, to be honest. I never would have thought. This is quite cool. Wait, what's this? Oh, this is well cute. Some of them are like car seats, and then they come out and go in the pram as well, yeah. which is cool. And look, I definitely want one of these prams one day. They're like really small. One thousand. Ridiculous guys. I kind of feel like an intruder in this shop because obviously I'm not pregnant for real and I'm scared that someone might like approach me and ask her like how's it going? Does that suit me? That suits you. <laughs> I can imagine it. I can imagine it, yeah. I like that colour as well. Yeah. It would go with my Instagram feed. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I won't be buying my pram based on my Instagram feed. Oh, that's adorable. Look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Got the logo Our kid can be repping the dinosaur family. I think since you like cars so much, we get this for our kid and then you get a matching one and then you can be like matching that's a good idea. father and son. I feel like I could even match with our son if we have a son one day what, and so I could wear this. Well, not not this one, <laughs> but I could wear one matching to well, it. Yeah, being pregnant is like starting to suit you. Oh, thank you. You're like glowing. <laughs> Look really oh, pretty. Thanks, darling. <laughs> This stuff's expensive. I mean, look, that's 16 quid for that. That is quite expensive, isn't it? Yeah. I'm sure there's like cheaper shops though. Like, there's gotta be. This is like Mother Cats. It's like. Yeah. Like bougie <laughs> kids' toys and everything. We thought that we would come to like a supermarket to basically try out some baby food. I personally have heard that baby food's really, really gross. But like. I can imagine. I yeah. mean, I wanna kind of test it out to see what our little baby lump is gonna be eating in nine months. <laughs> Hey, don't so, tip it too hard in public. I know. So, oh my god, no, that's gross. Well, at the same time, well, we have to, to find vegan. vegan, something vegan, so that's going to be hard. Oh, okay. Pumpkin, broccoli, and sweet corn. That must be that must be vegetarian and vegan, right? Nana, baby brekkie. That sounds nice. What else? Oh, cauliflower cheese. Ooh. Okay, strawberry and apples. These are like little meals. Oh, that's 12 months plus. Oh. What's gonna happen if I actually like this? Like, what if I'm gonna just go gonna start buying? Do you know what? I'm surprised every dish has meat in it. Has it? That is not good. Wait, vegetable paella? Okay. That would be alright. Oh my god. They've got, they've got curry. Yeah, we'll be <laughs> feeding babies. Like, yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I mean, I feel like with babies, you have to like start feeding them like all kinds of food so they try it from like an early age or else yeah. they'll just be really picky. They'll turn so. out my little, like my little brother who doesn't even like tomato ketchup. I know, he's so picky. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's try the paella and then we'll try these two as well. Okay, so I am now home and I have just prepared myself the vegetable paella which is literally just like a 40 second microwave meal and I'm not really sure how like microwave meals go as far as like having kids because surely that can't be that healthy. <laughs> oh my god, it actually smells really good. I would probably have this. So I'm gonna give this a go. This is my first time ever trying baby food but it just smells like normal food so we'll see. <laughs> oh my god. 
that's actually awful. I so thought that this would taste nice because it smells really, really good, but it's just really bland. I mean, it's not like really disgusting or anything, but it's definitely not the best meal I've ever had. But now I'm also really excited to try these. So these are like little smoothie things, but they're made from like fruit. So I'm sure they're not gonna be that disgusting. So first up, I'm gonna try the strawberries and apple. Oh my god, that's actually so good! What? Why haven't I been eating these before? And then the second one I got is this one, which I am excited for. If this one's good, this is definitely going to be amazing, because this is bananas and apples. Let's try this one. What the hell? This is so good! As if I never thought that I would say that I actually like children's food, but... It is nice. Okay, so it's a few hours later. I am now in bed and it is currently about 11 p.m. We've just been literally watching movies, but I am now in bed in my pajamas, which just looks so funny. Like, look at this. <laughs> what do you think about it? So I'm not looking forward to sleeping in this because it's already digging into my back. Like, I don't know if I've showed you guys. Look at this, this right here. It's so uncomfortable. So yeah, tonight I'm probably not gonna get the best night's sleep just because personally, I always sleep on my front and that is the only way I can fall asleep. I can't fall asleep laying on my back or on my side. So this is gonna be very uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't know how pregnant women sleep with a massive belly like this, especially if they sleep on their front. So wish me luck and I'll let you guys know how it goes tomorrow morning. <laughs> I have just woken up guys and I have barely got any sleep. This belly was just so uncomfortable all night. Look at my little belly button. <laughs> Kept tossing and turning. It was just so uncomfortable because of this back thing here. I've honestly got to give it to the pregnant woman out there. Like, sleeping with this kind of belly is hard, especially if you sleep on your front. So I feel like the verdict of this video is, honestly, I don't want to be pregnant anytime soon. This was just such a weird experience and I'm really happy that I filmed this video because now I kind of feel like I will be a little bit more ready for when it actually does happen. Hopefully in like 10 years time though. Like I said in the beginning, I really hope this video doesn't offend anyone. Honestly, this is just for a little bit of fun. This has just been the weirdest experience ever and the whole time I just couldn't stop playing with my little belly button. I have definitely really enjoyed filming this video for you guys. So if you guys did enjoy it, make sure you smash that huge thumbs up just down below. Don't forget to let me know if any of you guys are pregnant out there and let me know what the hardest part of it is because I feel like for me it would definitely be like the cravings and maybe even like the pain of the back because obviously you have to support such a heavy thing I kind of expect it would be one of the hardest things but anyways that is all from me thank you so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video bye Mwah.